Do you believe in the power of one? For one visionary social leader, Gina Lopez, changing the world for the better begins with a vision. It's Gina's vision that created and popularized e-media or educational media in the country. By distributing television sets nationwide, Gina made world-class teaching accessible to 14 million school children in nearly 40,000 public elementary schools. Studies have shown us consistently throughout the 15 years of, of e-media that audiovisuals have a significant impact in the academic comprehension of the kids. And, and not only in terms of academics, but even in terms of uh, values, in terms of behavior. It's a very, very good use of television technology. E-Media created award-winning shows which improved learning and instilled values in the hearts of many. It is present even in the conflict-affected communities of Muslim Mindanao. Uh, I saw a news item on, on television where a little girl was beat up continuously by her mother for a period of two years and at the end of the two years she died. And I thought at that time that if there was, um, if there was a number that girl could have called or, uh, or the neighbors could have called, then maybe we could have prevented the death from happening. Yeah, so that's how it started. To protect the Filipino child from maltreatment, Gina created Bantay Bata 163, which to date has received more than 200,000 calls related to child abuse. To heal, educate, and nourish maltreated children, she had the children's village built in Bulacan. No less than the United Nations recognized Gina's pioneering works in child care. During natural catastrophes, Gina extends her hands to the needy. Her Sagip Kapamilya program is into rescue and relief operations. If we all work together, we will make this country a better place to live in. It extends livelihood opportunities and development programs to calamity-stricken communities. Despite the odds, Sagip Kapamilya brings out the indomitable Bayanihan spirit in every Filipino in times of need. Meanwhile, Gina's Bayan Foundation, a social development institution, assists poor families through microfinancing and micro-entrepreneurship. It has generated jobs through trainings and job placements. Raise the level of entrepreneurship para gumaling yung Pinoy sa negosyo. More importantly, it has strengthened indigent families through values formation. Gina is also an impassioned environmental advocate. She is the spirit behind Bantay Kalikasan, which started the 5 million signature campaign that pushed for the historic passage of the Clean Air Act. She likewise created the prize-winning Bantay Usok and Bantay Bateria projects. Her Lamesa Watershed Reforestation and Rehabilitation Program got the support of around 120,000 volunteers. It's really a shiny example of what people can do together. Today, Gina is again one with the whole nation as she bravely takes on the challenge of reviving the Pasig River, which is a major tributary of the nerve center of the country. Gina is concerned that a historic river that was once a major transport route, a source of clean water and a thriving ecosystem is now one of the most polluted and toxic river systems in Asia. Thus, she has created Kapit Bisig Para Sa Ilog Pasig or KBPIP. She knew that to clean the river, one must first clean the creeks. She decided to clean one creek first and do it really well and do it in record time. This is Estero de Paco. The dramatic success of the cleanup has now led to the cleanups of many other esteros in Metro Manila. The more than 1,000 illegal dwellers were transferred to a model resettlement site in Calawan, Laguna, where they were given decent homes. Gina coordinated so that the site has a school where the children are now winning awards. There is a health center, a livelihood center, a high school, a market, and now on the pipeline, an industrial park which will provide livelihood to the residents. 
Dapat lahat tayo nagmamahalan para ipakita natin sa buong mundo at sa buong bansa kung paano talagang ang tunang Pinoy. Kaya natin ito? Part of the river effort is a yearly run for the river where thousands run to signify support for the cause. KBPIP's 101010 Run for Pasig River. The run attained the Guinness record for having the world's largest number of runners in a racing event. Lahat ito hindi magagawa kung lahat ng tao hindi nagtutulong-tulungan. It's everyone's river, it's everyone's responsibility, and if everyone feels the same way and takes it on and has that same sentiment, there is no way that river will not be clean. River Warriors! One of the key strategic innovations is the creation of River Warriors, a band of committed individuals who guard the creeks 24-7 to make sure that whatever developments and investments are made will be sustained. Gina is fearless in saying no to mining in Palawan. Gina finds it alarming that for a UN-designated man and biosphere reserve, Palawan is flooded with hundreds of permits that allow mining companies to encroach into the province's protected areas, polluting bodies of water, eradicating vast tracts of forests, and demolishing ancestral lands that the natives need for survival. Gina is one of the leaders of the Save the Palawan Movement's 10 million signature campaign. Saving Palawan does not only affect the country, it affects the world. Which wants to stop mining in Palawan, key biodiversity areas and island ecosystems. She has been able to get 4 million signatures across many sectors and the number keeps growing as more and more people become aware of how important the environment is. She is also spearheading the effort to address poverty through community-based sustainable ecotourism. This is amazing. Her conviction is that the path to the Philippines is to develop access to the 7,000 islands of the Philippines such that the people living there can get out of poverty. One wonders how one person like Gina can do all these. Gina credits her dedicated staff and ABS-CBN Foundation's committed partners and donors who share her vision for a better world. She also credits her spirituality, wherein she meditates every morning, aligning with the divine. When I clean the estero and then make things happen, and like here when I work together with all of you, parang I feel a lot of joy and happiness. Her conviction is that if one lives life with integrity and aligns one's life for a noble cause, nothing is impossible. Indeed, what has been achieved is proof that this is true. Gina's conviction is there is nothing in the world that can stand in the face of a people united for a noble cause. Nothing. Therein lies the power of one. It is the power that comes when one is aligned with truth and the common good. It is the power that is supported by the power of the divine and the power of many. At the end of the day, it's all about hope. If we can do this, and we can do this together, what we really give the future is the gift of possibilities. The gift and the message that if we work together, if we do things together, miracles can happen.